recommend, if you know someone, if you're watching the show and you know somebody who looks like some of our guests today, tattoos, pierces, whatever, and you think they look like a freak, we can even make them over for you if you call us. 312-832-4180 is the number to call. Our next guest says, Jenny, I'm single, I'm a nice guy, I'm gainfully employed. I don't know why girls aren't attracted to me. Well, let's meet him and see if we can figure out what the problem is. Here's Soda Pop. <laughs> You lost one of your... How many rings are you wearing? A lot. A lot. <laughs> so, have a problem with the girls? Well, females are intimidate, intimidated by me at first. Yeah. And then when I get them, I can't get rid of them. <laughs> you, have, you have tattoos over how much of your body's tattooed? Well, my arms are completely tattooed. Y'all yeah. covered up some of this. Well, we, it my was pretty back, racy stuff. We had to cover yeah, up some of it. my back is almost completely covered. I yeah. got one more sitting. To and do then you're going to be all done? Yeah, then I'll be uh, taking pictures for three major tattoo magazines. You will. Do you have a job? Yeah, I own a barber shop. And you're, I cut hair in a barber shop I own. Can, you see, can we see the top of your head? There. We have chosen three women who say they want to date someone with a radical appearance and we definitely have that with soda pop here are janelle jennifer and alicia come on out ladies okay. you can't see Jan is this janelle right here Hi. okay so janelle you're a hairdresser from aurora illinois yep and what kind of, you don't like sort of ordinary looking guys? No, they're boring. They're boring. Mm -hmm. What kind of guy would you like to, to meet today? Anybody who's not, not mm -hmm. ordinary. Not ordinary, <laughs> okay. We definitely have that behind the wall. Uh, Jennifer, sales rep from Mundelein, Illinois. Yep. But you look like a, a like, like a sales rep. Why, I what, why do you want a freaky looking guy? Um, just to the point that you haven't had a lot of luck with the other kind of guy, the it's fraternity a, type, baseball yeah. hat, football player. Okay. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I'm always up for something different and okay. nothing to say that, I don't have any tattoos, but nothing to say that that makes somebody a bad person. Okay. Alicia, Alicia, homemaker, Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. And uh, do, you, do you have anything that you look for in a guy or any kind of uh, favorite feature? My main feature? thing is honesty. Honesty? That's what I look for, yeah. Okay. We have a guy over here who wants to see how far you're willing to go to get a date with him, and what are you going to challenge them to do today to get a date? Uh, I'm going to ask them some questions. What's your challenge okay, for Janelle? Now, if I dared you to get a tattoo, would you get one? Don't answer. Don't answer. Well, that's your dare. We're going to leave you with that dare. What's your dare for Jennifer? Jennifer, I dare you to get a piercing. Will you pierce your body for me? Don't answer. Finally, your dare for Alicia. Alicia. I dare you to shave your head. <laughs> okay. We're not going to get the answers. We will get the answers when we come back a little later in the show. We have all the staff back there. We got the piercers, the tattooers, the barbers. We'll see what their decision was in just a moment. We have had a high-pressured power washer back there working on some of our guests. We'll see the transformations back to regular-looking people when we come back, and we'll answer the burning question, how far would a girl go? for a date with a guy named Soda Pop. We'll be back. Is our band going to be playing for us? It's time. If you remember earlier in the show, Soda Pop, who's back here now, challenged three women who were looking for a date with a guy that was a bit radical. He challenged them to do some things. One was to get a tattoo, one was a piercing, one was to shave her head. We'll start with Alicia. Let's bring her back out and see if she shaved her head or not. Alicia! <laughs> you never saw each other. There he is. What do you think, Alicia? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, Jennifer, you challenged her to uh, get a piercing, right? So mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if she got anything pierced. Right. Jennifer, come on out.
far we'd like you to meet Soda Pop. How are you? What do you think? <laughs> huh? <laughs> radical enough for you? Very. Very radical. Did you get anything pierced? Um, I was looking all over for the piercer and couldn't find him. Just kidding. I'm just no, kidding. the piercer was backstage. I so know, that's just, I was No, I didn't. Huh? I only got my stuff. You only got a piercing. Okay. And finally, you asked Janelle to uh, get a tattoo. Gee, I wonder why. Well, here she is. Janelle, let's see if she did it. Janelle? <laughs> Okay, so the pop asked you, did you get a tattoo? Yep, I did. Wow. Right here. Are you gonna, can we see it? Yeah. A oh, rose. Oh. That kind of wow. wow. How long did that take? Not very long. No, about 20 minutes at the so moment. pop, are you impressed with that? Yep. <laughs> you win, sister. And based on your challenges, you can take this further and see if you want to go on a date with any of these women. What do you think? All right, uh, I asked you this. Which one of them want to go out with me the worst? That's fair enough. Janelle, you want to go for it? Janelle said yeah? Okay, you got a date? Okay. Now, as you know, do we have a little video of the voting process? We have a little voting.